And a very pleasant, good Monday morning, everyone. It is Monday, December the 2nd. I hope you had an outstanding uh, extended holiday weekend. Uh, the weather not exactly the greatest, uh, but uh, I think uh, it did allow for people to get from point A to point B without uh, any huge weather-related issues, especially uh, locally over the course of the last few days. Uh, it is Cyber Monday today uh, across the area, and it's just about well, over three weeks until Christmas, which means if you did not do any shopping over the weekend, uh, being the fact that it is Cyber Monday, there are apparently great deals today online, so you could probably do some damage today uh, and put a dent in some of your shopping uh, as we are just a little over three weeks until Christmas. In addition to Cyber Monday, today is also National Fritters Day, and it is National Mutt Day today. So if you have a dog that is a crossbreed, I guess would be the politically correct term, um, or mutt, today is the day to celebrate uh, that uh, particular family friend. Uh, born on this day, you got Britney Spears, hit me baby, one more time. You got Charlie Puth, uh, Gianni Versace, who I tease my wife a lot and I call him Versace, Gianni Versace, uh, rest in peace, and the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, and speaking of football and Rodgers, two things before we get going. Uh, I saw the Mr. Rogers movie with my son over the weekend. I enjoyed it very much. It was a little different than what I expected, but uh, still very good. Different in this case is not bad. It's just different than what I expected, but a very good movie. I give it a two thumbs up, and especially if you're a Pittsburgher, you got to see the Mr. Rogers movie. And football-related, uh, the Steelers. Everyone's doing this this morning. That's my duck call. Uh, duck Hodges leading the Steelers uh, to, to victory uh, yesterday over the Browns. Um, and I, maybe duck callers are going to be flying off the shelves on Cyber Monday. Who knows? Uh, but uh, good job by uh, Duck Hodges. Uh, up next, the Steelers, I think, head out to Arizona to take on the Cardinals next weekend. Uh, all right, let us get into some weather information momentarily before I give you all the weather information that you need without any of the hype because I heard from some of you this weekend saying, it's out of control, man. It's out of control. Uh, you're, you're not going to get any of that here ever, ever. So before we get to that, let me show you the website. It is Pittsburgh Weather Now. When we're not on uh, on the broadcast here live, you can get all of the information all of the time at pittsburghweathernow.com, including the Pittsburgh Weather Now shop. Speaking of online shopping, you can get some done right there. Click on that little link on the right-hand side of the homepage and get yourself hooked up with some whiteboard weather merchandise. Now, I do want to show you as you scroll down the page a little bit, a little bit of a sponsor spotlight, if you will. Uh, one of our newer sponsors, Martin Lawn Services and Photos, listed right there. They do some really good work. They're the official um, lawn and landscaping uh, company of Pittsburgh Weather Now, a lawn and landscaping partner, Martin Lawn Services. We're now a partner with Seven Springs. You can see their live mountain cam anytime, and starting later this week, You'll be able to get your ski report right here as well by yours truly. And today, our sponsor spotlight is on Braun Bostich and Associates. All weather wealth tips. If you want to give something, the gift that keeps on giving, give the all weather wealth a try at Braun Bostich and Associates. They give us all weather wealth tips each and every week. There'll be another one coming out today. And if you scroll down, when you click on that link, you get linked to all of their stories here and their advice free, uh, how to avoid getting squeezed financially was last week, blended family finances, five tips for success was the week before, but you can read all those financial tips free and you can give them a call 
and they will get you going. It's never too early or too late to think about your financial future. So reach out to Braun Bostich and Associates. I highly recommend them. Highly, highly, highly. All right, let's get to some weather information. Switching gears right now. This is the advisory map. You can see there is a little bit of shading over here in the Laurel Highlands. That's because there's a winter weather advisory there today just for elevations over 2,000 feet. So across the highest elevations, Westmoreland, Fayette, if you're traveling in that direction later today, there may be some issues with accumulating snow right along the ridge tops. Again, here, not here, here if you're heading that direction uh, later on today. I'll look at some temperatures right now. If you're heading out the door, we got cloudy skies. We got 33 degrees and a light west-northwest breeze is blowing. So out the door, we're just above the freezing mark. A quick check of our uh, radar here this morning, and you can see there's not much going on. Maybe a flake or flurry here flying near the uh, Armstrong, Indiana County line, and a couple here as you get down near the West Virginia state line, but generally it's just cloudy across the area uh, this morning, so not much in the way of precipitation. Now, I do expect as we head into this afternoon with a little bit of uh, weak energy moving through the area uh, that we will probably see at least some more widespread or numerous coverage of some scattered light snow showers. Do not be concerned. This is not a big deal today. We're probably going to see locally a dusting to maybe a half of an inch over the next 16 hours. Uh, and the only area that's really going to see any notable accumulation, again, will be along those ridge tops south and east, right, about, right around 2,000 feet or uh, higher. So let's get over to the whiteboard and break it all down for you today. It is our... Monday edition of Wake Up Whiteboard Weather with our Pittsburgh Weather Now Sponsor Spotlight, BraunBostich.com. Again, it's never too early, it's never too late to plan for your financial future. Reach out to Braun Bostich and associate, Associates and get that planning started today. All right, here's the breakdown. 33, cloudy skies this morning, 35 at noon, brisk and chilly, and 37 was scattered couple of key words here, scattered and light snow showers uh, across the area this afternoon. But uh, again, not to be concerned, you will be able to get around just fine. This is the no hype outlook. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a snowfall outlook through midnight, so you're ready to go locally. Again, this is over the next, what, 17 hours, a dusting to maybe a half of an inch in spots. So that would include most of us. In the Laurel Highlands, where they get some upslope effect, as per usual, right along those elevations above 2,000 feet or right around 2,000 feet, 2 to 3 inches. So if you're headed in that direction, again, you may encounter some deteriorating weather conditions. And unfortunately, your look ahead this week, we once again become the land that sunshine forgot. Not much sunshine all week long. So I hope you enjoyed those couple of peaks that you saw <laughs> late yesterday afternoon because there ain't going to be much sunshine at all this week. So that is your wake up whiteboard for a Monday, a Cyber Monday uh, at that. And speaking of Cyber Monday, uh, a couple of Cyber Monday facts very quickly. Um, well, this is just a, a cyber fact. 95% uh, of employed consumers plan to do some online shopping while at work this holiday season, which means when people are at work, at some point they're going to online shop over the next three weeks. Uh, 40 million Americans will use their mobile device to shop online today, and an estimated $8 billion will be spent just today with online shopping. That is $8 billion dollars spent today. All right. That, my friends, is going to wrap it up for a Monday edition of Wake Up Whiteboard Weather. We'll be here at three o'clock this afternoon as per usual. Hope you can join me then. Until then, though, uh, do me a favor and please 
share, just hit the little share button. Share Wake Up Whiteboard Weather with your Facebook friends. Uh, the more people that know about us, the better off it is for all of us. I'd love to add new people to our community. Um, so please, just hit the little share button. That's going to do it for a Monday morning. Have yourself an outstanding day today. I'll see you at 3. Peace.